Like Mark Morrison said, it's the return of the Mac. Or is it? Let's break it down. So we've all heard the hype about the M1 chips, and seen the countless videos showing us how it blows Intel out of the water with all these tasks. But I'll be the first to tell you, these videos are extremely misleading. I purchased the 16GB M1 in November, as soon as it was available. I got a solid two months of use out of it. I started using it for Photoshop, then I started using it for video editing, as I'd seen how it was so great at rendering and resolve. My experience has been the same as most M1 Mac users. Initially, it's fast, responsive, and very user-friendly. Once you install Rosetta Apple's translating codec for the M1 chip, Photoshop runs pretty smoothly. But just like many users, after you update to Big Sur, here come big problems. Photoshop instantly started taking longer to open. My projects started crashing frequently, and even worse, I was getting the dreaded memory error, even though my Mac said I wasn't using but a small portion of my system memory. It handles a decent amount of layers without any issues. You don't have issues loading brushes or even running CPU heavy Photoshop actions. But as soon as you begin to use the smudge tool or get over 40 layers, the system can become very unresponsive. There's a version of Photoshop that's specifically for the M1, but it was in beta and wasn't a full version, but more like the iPad version, with less of the critical features I need. I know there are some of you out there that don't do very CPU exhausting tasks, but you can imagine that between errors and restarting your system, your workflow will be hindered more than it's improved. The memory swap is great and genius, but very limited. If you're a Photoshop casual, you may not have any issues, but as a pro graphic designer, the M1 chipset in combination with Big Sur doesn't seem to be ready. Things do seem brighter with the rumors of the M1X and M2 chips, but as of right now there's an elephant in the room. The lack of a dedicated GPU. It will be an issue at some point. It's one of those purchases where waiting or spending more to save more is more valuable than ever. Well, till next time, take care of yourself. And each other.